today I need to reset the house, reset our space. Um, also got a day of running my business from home and I'm going to bring you with me. We live on a rural property at the bottom of a big mountain range, so the mornings here can be really cold. The first thing I do most days is run out to the woodshed, grab some wood, come inside and light the fire. I've always lived in a house with a fireplace, even our tiny house Iggy has a fireplace and lighting the fire each morning is such a ritual it really brings me joy and i feel like it's one of the big things that sets my energy the house is warm i can go through and tidy it and yeah it just makes work and the day feel so much cozier hello So the last time I posted a video on here was when we were living in the van in Lake Tikapo, which was about a year ago now, which is insane. We have since finished our van travels. We moved out of the van in December, moved back up to Wellington, and now we live where well, we rent this big rural property. And we're here till December this year, and then we will probably move back into the van or move in with my parents or yeah, something we're not 100% sure what that's gonna look like at the moment. Then my intention for this channel, like obviously yeah, we're still gonna have van content and travel and all of this, but it's really about sharing, sharing about living aligned with yourself and living a life that actually you wake up like, yeah, I'm excited for today. Right, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then we're going to clean this monstrosity of a house. <laughs> it's so bad. Running an online business from home is amazing. I have so much flexibility and choice and freedom over my days. But one thing that is a little bit tricky is I can't work when the house is messy. Like it, I just feel distracted. It mucks with my energy. I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I have to make sure that the house is like decently clean so that I can get on with my day and actually feel happy and aligned and like my environment is matching like the world I'm creating or the work I'm doing. Right outside our bedroom window there is a paddock well like another property and all the mama cows have just had their babies and we get to watch them run around. This is the cutest thing. I love them. Seem to know Cleaning the house helps me to reset my energy and so too does doing something creative. I love knitting and crochet or watercolour painting or reading a book or writing in my journal. So I try to carve out a little bit of time each day to do this. I really enjoy just sitting and doing nothing. I often find my breathing slows. Um, I feel more connected to myself and like a little bit more disconnected from 
I suppose like the serious business world um and yeah I just I really enjoy having these pockets in my day as I can see I left the road straight it did not bother me the sun is shining through every window pane it's bathing you in light so why should I complain After the river, I got back to work. I'm speaking at an in-person event this Saturday in Wellington. It's the first in-person event I've done in ages with a crowd this big. So I'm just working on marketing it and getting as many people there as possible to share the opportunity of online income um, and also just perfecting what I'm going to be speaking about. We bought a bike for me off Facebook Marketplace a couple months ago and then we've taken it in for a service, spent a bit of money on it getting working and it sort of works but sort of doesn't. Like sometimes when I'm changing gears it's like <laughs> which is like a bit annoying. But Mitch is just about to finish work. He's about a 40 minute drive from home so I'm going to jump on my bike, bike into town and he's going to pick me up and drive me home so I don't have to go both ways but I get to go for a decent bike ride. Oh no! Just as I said that, it started bucketing down. Like really bad. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this bike ride all day, so I'm just gonna put a rain jacket on. That was the best way to end today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you've had fun. I'm going to be back next week with a tutorial on how I set up my cycle tracker. And yeah, I'm going to go enjoy this sunset, sort of sunset, and hang out with Mitch and cook a big dinner. All right, see you next week.